Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. What are we doing today? We're about to find out. <laughs> it's it's the beginning of the process of working on social points. Oh yeah, I got I gotta hire some workers too. Uh Okay, so the first thing we're, this is kind of like the first episode where the first thing that we're going to do in them is jobs, transport, transport. So it looks like today we're doing mostly transport jobs. Let's just zoom in to make sure there's just three of them in this area. Yep, just three of them. So we'll be doing transport jobs and then harvest our wheat fields. But also I need to do, oh, that's got P in it. That's got peas in it. He's sowing some peas. Okay, this is plowed. This needs to be cultivated. So let's hire a guy to cultivate that. Wait a few seconds here. So we'll get all, all of our workers hired. I just trying to remember what fields we were doing in. That's got lupine in it. This is plowed, not cultivated, so we gotta hire some guy to cultivate that. And also, all right, so what other field? This is not plowed, cultivated, nothing. This is plowed, not cultivated, so this is the other field that we're working on, okay. So cultivate that. Thank you. So there are our four workers. I think there's two of them. Yeah, right here. Okay. So there are four workers. We are going to jump. I was just trying to think of how to do this here. We got one kind of in a weird spot, but that's fine. Well, it's not a weird spot, but... You know what I'm saying? It's out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll take the bus out there. Right on up to here. And then we can jump to the Jack Bear. Alright, so the job is somewhere over here. It's not too far. We'll get our exercise in. Hopefully all three are down by Steve. Steve the drug dealer. <laughs> Seems like. Feels kind of weird jumping back from uh, farming sim to this game because you look at the fields like that looks weird. It's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm in farming sim. I mean, I'm, I'm in farmers dynasty. See, I don't know what game I'm even playing right now. Uh, I'm in farmers dynasty. All right, who around here has the job? All right, over there. And apparently, I'm hungry at the same time. Hey, dude. Hi. Good morning. Let's see. Yes, we're looking for work. I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? There's something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. That's a decent price, sir. Sounds for transport. Good. I'll take care of this. Whoa, hello, Linda. You just came, like, out of nowhere. Uh, that's a little inappropriate, don't you think? I know you two may be a couple, but damn. Uh, all right, so <laughs> let's head on over to the Jack Bear. Come on, let me in. All right, so there's two people. They're at the fishing pond. All right, I think I can find them. I think you're not going to be in here you're kind of going to be over in that general vicinity Bueller Bueller are you, are you at the church is that where you're at nope you're not quite at the church might be headed that way though. Yep, she's on the move. Not now, sorry. No, what? Really? 
We can talk on the road. It's fine. Care to talk? Good morning. Uh, yeah, there we go. Is there something I can help you with? There's something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Another decent price. We can do this. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. The only reason why I'm caring about the price a little bit, it kind of, basically the price that you see, double it, and that's the amount of social points you get. And that's what we're kind of really after. Uh, whoa. It's you, Lucas. Lucas. Lucas! Dude! Am I talking to your deaf ear? Must be not. Alright. Hello there. Actually, I'm kind of shocked I'm allowed Hello. to take these jobs for how hungry that I am. So I don't know if it's a combination of I am looking food for and sleep. For me? Uh, if you divide There's it, you know, add the two I up, need. divide by two. Indeed. As long as your average is above fifty percent, maybe you can take jobs. I have no idea how it works. Oh, they're all paying over three hundred. good. I'll take care of this. All right, how hungry actually are we? We're kind of hungry, and since our wife actually made pizzas the other day, somehow we'll have one. I'll be back in a second, Lucas. Hopefully, my truck is still down here, which I think it is. Sweet. Uh, I'm here for. The whoa, party. that's really inappropriate. Sure, there it is. I'm here for the package. Uh, sure, there it is. Are we gonna do all three? I'm like, that's not gonna. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before twice. Usually you just get all three. Did I get all three? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So let's go hand these three in. i never seen seen it do that twice. I'm like, uh oh, the game might freak out now because I was, I was taking three packages at once. It's going to freak out on us. Um, okay. <laughs> the game is acting a little weird, but then again, <laughs> we're talking about Farmer's Dynasty here. When does it really act exactly right? Here's the package you requested. Thank you. Here's something for you. Yeah, give me, give me a quest that automatically saves for me before something really freaks out. See a lot of bugs, hopefully, that they fix in the update, like she's fishing in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, I know there's another quest. Oh, did she she move back over here? She was going to the church. Now she's back in town. Somewhere. We're gaining on her, though. So no field work today. Here's the package you but we'll get some, let's see, we'll probably get like, what, 2,000 social Here's points? For you. Uh, now the problem is, I'm not anywhere really near a bus stop. I could teleport back to the minivan, take the bus, and run over, but I think at this point, I'm just going to run over. So I'll meet you over there in a second after I go for a, a slow swim, apparently. Here's the package you requested. Up close and personal. Thank you. Here's something for you. Let me just check the map and... First of all, let me get rid of that marker because I'll just annoy the heck out of me all day if I don't get rid of it. So it looks like we're all set there. Uh, I know I left my vehicles here somewhere. There we go. Alright, so now the rest of the day we can work on the wheat fields. Which are small fields, so it shouldn't take long to harvest. The thing is, we will have to transform all the way down the old mill 
but the price is definitely worth it. So I'm in a way I'm kind of glad that we didn't have any field work to do today. I, I kind of want to get our fields done our, ourselves so we can finally see the final total on spring cleaning. Uh, we are at three quarters of a million dollars in our spring cleaning harvest. Uh, I'm thinking another 100,000 is not out of the question. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea anymore. Too many things going on in my head right now other than uh, my YouTube channel. So, yeah, my mind is all fried up. I get mixed up between the yield on Farming Simulator and Farmer's Dynasty. I say, oh, I'll be playing Farming... Farming sim, I'm like, oh, this field's not that big. I'm not getting much of a yield. And I start harvesting, like, holy crap, look at the yield on this field. And I'm like, oh, that's right. Different game. Uh, hello, dear. How are we harvesting on this? Not bad. And once we harvest this field and get this straw out of here, we will hire workers to do these fields. Like I said, any field I can hire worker to do on our fields, we will. We got plenty of fields that we can't hire workers for, and those are the fields I need to work in. And also doing jobs for other people. That's the story for this season. I'm not too interested on our money situation anymore. But I'm still going to set goals for us now and then. Like when we started spring cleaning, I said, oh yeah, it'd be nice if we get a million, million dollars out of it. But it's going to need a miracle to get that much. So let me get to harvesting this field, well these fields here. And I'll bring it back when we probably make a delivery down to the old mill. Taking a different approach of going to the old mill rather than up over the hill like you usually do. Came down by agricultural agricultural shop. Head up the hill this way. Just to take a different scenic route. And watch vans come around the corner and hit the guardrail. I'll be honest, when the AI traffic first came out. I thought it was done pretty fairly well. I thought, it's, oh, there's a couple glitches here and there, but it seems like every corner that the AI traffic is going around is, well, it's like, it's not like you're driving on black ice. They just can't make corners. But as for us, because you can see, we got a full trailer of wheat. Our combine is full back to the farm of wheat. I'm hoping in kind of a way that we can make it in one more trip because <laughs> it's kind of a long ways down here actually what time of day is it it's not even noon how about that so we did three jobs this morning we're pretty close to being done harvesting the two fields like I said before the killer is actually coming all the way down here to the mill to deliver this but the price is almost double to bring it to the other cell point so of course you'd bring it down here and that way you just get more warnings that your trailer's full. We'll see how much money we can get out of a trailer. I forgot what the price of for wheat is. Actually, I'm too curious now. Can I get the map up, please? So the price for wheat up here is 360, which is eh. 576. So, yeah, we're only going to get like about eight grand. Well, just probably more like nine grand for this delivery. But hey, nine grand is nine grand. I'll probably make more from the bales in those two fields than I will sell in the grain, just about. Which sounds kind of weird, but in real life, not so much. In real life, you know... Around here, I can buy straw bales for like $3 a bale. 
And yet I'll bring 40 bales to that sell point and get like six grand for it. Yeah, I still remember when the game first came out. The only way to get in here was through this gate. But they took a section of the gate out so you can bring your equipment in better. Alright, so more money into our bank account. So for us, you know, at, at this point I just realized how much little wheat we're going to get out of that field, so... After selling the bales and everything, I'm hoping that we can reach 2.6 in the bank account. Somewhere around there. I did uh, have to hire another worker. Uh, that very small field. He got done cultivating that, so now he's putting lupine in it. Have to try to keep track of our workers. So this field right here is doing lupine. And all of our other three workers are still going to town. Got to make sure they stay busy. You know, that's they're, they're going to be the ones making our income this year, in a way. I mean, we'll make a good amount of money as well doing jobs for the people. But got to make sure our fields keep producing. So I'm going to meet you back at the, at the farm with the two fields. And we'll finish up harvesting together. And then uh, maybe bring the uh, trailer back down here for sale. And I think we might even get some bailing in today. So, yeah, I'll see you shortly. And here we are back at the farm. You can see what we got left. Combine is just about full at 12,000 liters. So if we got more than 4,000 liters left in the field, that means I'll be making multiple trips down to the sell point, which is... Not the thing I really want to do, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, if it all came to it, I guess I can put some in the storage tank until I get a really a day where I got nothing to do when we can make a trip down. It's too bad, though, you can't take the wheat and feed the chickens with it. But, yeah. I'm hoping, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I'm hoping for for the next update that they fix. And update and change a couple of things I mean I'm pretty sure it is gonna be a massive update when it comes I hope it is <laughs> all right let's close that in and let's finish harvesting these fields so if we get more than 4,000 liters that means uh, more than one trip down to the old mill I mean, if it isn't that much, I'll just bring it maybe to the other cell point. It's something I could do as well. And don't mind if you see the straw in the field just keep coming and going. That's kind of the thing that straw does. Which makes it really a lot of fun when you're trying to bail the straw that's doing that. <laughs> So as you can see, it's not going to take us long to finish up these two fields right here. It's already at 1,500 liters. I don't know, we, we could push the 4,000 area. Like I said, if it's just a little bit, maybe I'll, it, it probably won't be worth it bringing it all the way down to the mill. We'll just sell it at the other sell point. Because I'll have so little in the trailer that I won't really pay for the fuel to go that extra distance, maybe. Mm. Eh, maybe we won't hit 4,000. It's too bad it's not like Farming Simulator where you can combine fields because I would love to combine these two fields.
Right, let's go up here from the top of the field. Get this strip on the edge that for some reason the harvester can't seem to harvest when you go over the mound that way. You got to kind of go like up or down. Don't want to waste any. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to fit it all in one more trailer, so that's kind of a good thing. Takes the decision making out of my head, which is always a good thing to do. Like I said, we should have time to be able to bail this today. Uh, probably not pick it up and bring it to the sell point. But at least we'll have gotten our jobs done for the day. That's my only goal to do every day now is just get the jobs available to us, get those done, and any field work we do for ourselves. It's kind of like a bonus. So that's going to work out just great for us. It's almost a full trailer, so it's, you know, it pays off to make the trip down there. So we're going to be like at 93%, something like that. Okay, even higher than I thought, 97%. All right, so now the fun part, we are done with the harvester. Now the thing is, can I, I'm trying to remember if I can squeeze in here or not. I think there is a trick you can get in there, but it's a little, no, you cannot. I thought I could. I may have gotten the angle just right once before. Oh yeah, and the wife's tractor's right here. That's just about, seems about right. Uh, well, she's got a clean tractor and it's full. Got to park it right here. Speaking of the wife. Oh, she's, uh, she's over there. Okay. I mean, she can do what she wants. I'm kind of hoping also, in the, here we go, I get hoping about the updates. Uh, that the wife does like more yard work like maybe mow the grass okay step one all right we want to wash now we gotta drop the header We'll drop the header right there. And I don't think I can get the hitbox on this side. I think I have to turn the harvester around to get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Right there. Don't move. Wash vehicle. And I'm not going to bother refueling it. I still got 70%. Wow, okay. Just drive right over your own header, that's great. It looks so clean, but almost too clean, if that makes any sense. So we're just coming out here to drop off the header. And then we're going to go park the harvester in the hay barn. Or hay storage, whatever you like to call it. Go on, get up that hill. There we go. As I say, I don't have nothing in here. In here, I hope.
Let me out. Alright, let's close everything up. Go sell the rest of our wheat. Put everything back where it should be. So I will see you down at the cell point because you've seen me drive down there once already. So once again, I'll see you shortly. Back at the old mill to get our 8,000 and a half, whatever we get for this trailer load. <laughs> Uh, on the way down here though, I did check our workers and we only had one worker, so I hired three more to do work in the fields that we have going. And at some point I will have to, you know, fertilize them. Will I artificial fertilize them? I'm not sure if I will or not. Depending on how busy we get and all that good stuff. Uh, liquid manure, we got it. I'm going to use it. That's free stuff. But we are done with the trailer now. So when we get back to the farm, we need to wash that. And uh, what time is it? Okay. Not doing too bad on time, but I'll meet you back at the farm with a clean trailer. And we'll hook up the baler, start bailing, and then we'll call it an episode. So I'll begin the one hour in-game time of driving back. So see you in a second. Alright, let's wash this trailer. So that's what it looks like when it's clean. It's been a while. Looks like our crops in our greenhouse are doing okay. Now the question is, I think I know where the baler is. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's over by the cow, cow, cow barn. Underneath the little loft for the from the hay barn. I think that's where it is. Uh, is it there? Yes, it is there. Let's pick up this straw because it's making the game a little bit choppy right now. <laughs> All right. I'm seriously hungry. Nah, because the tree bark doesn't look tasty, and I don't think about eating frogs at the moment, so it's not that. I'm not that hungry. All right, so let's turn this on. Did I not turn that? I said it's on, but I don't hear it. Oh, but it's spitting it out. Okay, I just don't, just don't hear. It. Couldn't remember. I thought we could hear the the baler before. And I kind of hope they fix the speed that this can go. Because right now you can just go, you know, 36 kilometers an hour and do bales that way. So I think we usually get almost two full trailers out of this. Usually. But let me make some circles around here and bring you back in a bit. And we'll see how we're doing. As the sun sets on another day on the farm, we are just about wrapping up these bales. Well, we're not wrapping the bales, but wrapping up the job of doing the bales. I don't know who drove the harvester around here, but they got to learn to drive in more straight lines, it seems like. 
actually it's the way it uh, comes out the back of the harvester. You make makes you wonder why it doesn't come out straight in the back of the harvester. Let's make sure we come up here and get every little patch because it counts. The baler is kind of like the vacuum cleaner of the farming world, isn't it? You just go around and pick up everything that you can. Man, that's a big hump between the two fields. Like I said before, I'd love if I could merge these two fields into one. See, is that the last clump in that field? Looks like it is. So just a couple of clumps here. Just as we seem to be getting hungry. And there we have it. Turn off the harvester. Yeah, the harp. See, I'm reading up there. It says turn on the harvester. Well, it kind of is harvesting straw, <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. All right, let's put this back for now. Like I said, we'll probably re put barley in these fields. I'm just gonna double check on the on the moo cows here. We're gonna leave our trailer here. We're gonna take a scaffolding with us. So we're at 69% in the storage. So we got a ways to go on that. Don't have to worry about it. And the cows are still at 50% for food. So we're going to sell all those bales. Need to go talk to the wife. We'll, we'll do that in a second. I can't run because I'm hungry. Apparently. So it looks like our crops have grown to another stage. Humidity is good. Close that up. All right. Since I can't run, we're just going to have another pizza just to, just to get over with. There, now we can run. Looks like she's sweating, apparently. We'll talk later. No. Really? You know how long it's been since we actually had a chat? Hi, sugar. All right, let's just, just say it's nice to see her. We'll give her a compliment. Nice to see you, love. How are you? And she should be good for a while. Maybe this is the year she gets pregnant. I know some people are asking about that. <laughs> Hi, sugar. Not until June, apparently. It's not her mating season. June, July, and August are the times that she can get pregnant. I would have arrived earlier if I knew I'd meet a beauty like you. So I hope they change this a little bit because we're married. So it's like, it's not like I don't know how beautiful she is apparently. Yeah, yeah, we've been married a couple years. I know, I know she, she likes me very much. If she would just, you know, mow the yard once in a while. It's not like I'm not busy enough. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the day right there. It's 6.30 in the evening. So, you know, we got our wheat fields done and bailed, along with doing three jobs. They're all transport jobs, but hey, uh, you know, it's, we pretty much started at like around 7.02 this season, up to 7.07. Money-wise, after we sell the bales, looks like we're going to hit 2.6 million. So that leaves, that made us get uh, 850,000 in spring cleaning. I know I... Maybe we spent somewhere around 15,000 in workers, but you know, that's not, in the scheme of things, that small change, we would still be going and going on the spring cleaning. So it was well worth it getting the hired workers. We'd be harvesting forever. <laughs> Something that, uh, I mean, I don't mind harvesting, but not that much in a row. 
But uh, that's going to wrap up today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Like always, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time on A Day in the Farm. But until then, have a good one.